To me, what it means to be successful in the trades is to do good, lasting work that people use and enjoy and find beauty in. That's what it means to be successful. I think one of the great equalizers in growing up on a dairy farm is that as soon as you are able, you start helping. It doesn't matter you know, your size or your gender. <laughs> if you are a live person, you will help. And that's just the nature of things. As a child, I don't think I had a great inclination that like stones, that's my passion. It was part of our seasonal life that in the spring when the fields were plowed, we would have to go and pick rock. All the stones that come up with the frost heaving have to be gathered and taken to the edges of the fields, which now, as a stone day, so we're going to those edges of fields and taking the good rock out to build with them. But that was part of our seasonal life. My mother has been working with me really since I started doing stonework. And our first project together, when I had no inclination that I would ever be a stonemason, we decided that we wanted to build this four foot high stone wall to keep the cows over there. And, and so we did that one summer. And then when I started doing stonework, uh, I guess professionally, she came along and started doing it with me. I have to have a wonderful team and crew with me that I can trust because we are using our bodies and putting our fingers and holding things up. Um, you have to have that relationship where you really trust the people that you work with. And what I ask of people are to show up and to have a good attitude. And also one of the things that really matters to me is to do almost everything mindfully and not to rush. It's more important to me to do a good job than to do it quickly. The job that we're working on now, we're building a retaining wall, which was um, an old barn foundation, and a lot of it had sunk into the earth, and so we dug it up, laid these bases, and are building about 20 to 24 inches of dry laid retaining wall. The physics of a wall, what hold it up, are this inward pressure of rocks tilting in and being level in the face side, what is showing. So you're constantly leveling that, checking that it tips in to the wall. And in a dry stacked, freestanding stone wall, both sides would tip in toward the center. In a retaining wall, the back will be filled with other stones to play this sort of supporting role, filled and leveled, and then every stone that you place should be solid. So when I'm building a wall, I use two techniques. Sometimes I'm looking for a rock for a specific place, whether I'm looking for a point or an angle or a size, and sometimes I find a rock and find a place for it. Often you'll find a rock that you need to shape slightly, so I use, you know, masonry hammers and chisels so we you know if you find a seam and you can chisel and pop it in a certain way to shape it when we're doing bluestone then you can use some of the old techniques to get the face to look good we can oxyacetylene flame off to get that sort of natural break look we also use a gas powered stone saw with a diamond blade to cut it's a love hate relationship for me with machinery before the skid steer which people have been telling me that I should buy for the last decade. We'd move big rocks by sort of Egyptian ways, with rollers, with bars. One of the main reasons why I purchased it is because of safety. I also just really like big rocks. So this was a way that I could work with bigger rocks. perfect day of work for me would be a day in the summer where I get up early, meet my crew early, we get lots done, have a cocktail with my mother on the porch, eat some dinner, and climb into bed feeling bodily tired and that's it. That's perfect to me. And just repeat that over and over again. People often ask me, like, are you going to keep this up? You know, kind of in a 
real like you're gonna keep this up way and I feel like yeah as long as I enjoy it and it makes me happy I am and I can look to my mother and say like yeah I, I could keep doing this as long as it feels good I build because I enjoy being outside and putting things together and I enjoy being physical and using my body to build things and creating something that the, at the end of the day, I can look back and say, I did that.